Hello everybody, Max here. Welcome back to week two of Lion Ball League for the second match day. We've got a brilliant lineup of games for you in the offering. As we had a pretty strong start with the first week, honestly, not too many upsets and shocks, but some great games. If you don't know how to play Lion Ball, you can watch the video that's on screen here to learn all the rules, get involved and get caught up to speed with how this game is played. As I'm sure if you haven't seen Lion Ball before, you may have been a bit confused by the clips at the start of the video. So get caught up, learn the rules, then come back to this and enjoy Lion Ball League, the first ever season of it. We're back with Match Day 2. And now I'll hand over to Commentary Max to get into the first game. Match day two of Lion Ball League. We're straight into the next set of games. It's Timmy versus Chris. Chris is going to play with the yellows, and Chris is taking the first shot. So take it away. We've got one of our players, Steve, who will be giving the score counting, and we'll be updating the scores as we go. It's nice having some of our players getting involved doing the score counting as well, and helping me on the commentary. So thank you. And that is the first point to Chris. Lovely, lovely start for Chris, getting his really near the backboard, which is what you love to see. Unfortunately for Timmy, his does not make it in. It creeps out of the score zone. Chris is going to attack this. I called it, and he does it. Of course he does. It's now 2-0. And is it going to reach the line of reds and yellows? It touches, so it is out. That red is out, Timmy, because it reached the line of reds and yellows, unfortunately. So that was a really good shot there from Chris. He's really going for the jugular. Having lost his first game in disappointing fashion, he now has to make a comeback. <laughs> so now it's 2-1 nice shot from Timmy there playing again quite a defensive game we saw that in the King in the Vanguard Invitational Timmy does love a defense shot but he plays them well he really does 3-1 there to Chris but Timmy will have to go for the jugular at some point in these tournaments he can't defend the whole way and he's just creeped out of the score zone unfortunately it stays 3-1 to Chris and is he gonna attack again no he's under hit it it's not gonna reach and it stays 3-1. It gives Timmy a little bit of a lifeline. Let's see if he can use it. Make the most of this opportunity he's been given by Chris with the mistake. And he's got one in. But is he going to put? No. It goes to 3-2. And that is a lovely shot from Timmy. You love to see it. Chris. Oh, that is one of the shots of the tournament so far. 5-2. Brilliant shot from Chris. Using the top spin off of that first ball to bring them both in in one go. It's what you want to see. It's why we're here. Timmy chipping away, getting back into it. It is now 5-3. And Chris, what will he do next with this? He's lining up something. And he's using Timmy's red maybe to get in. No, it goes in on its own up to 6-3. Timmy's going to have to take a risk here because he is behind. He has a ball out of the score zone. So he can't just play defensive. He's going to have to attack something. And unfortunately, he spotted. That is the end of this game. Chris wins. Timmy is the loser, unfortunately. But it was a good game for both. So welcome to game number two, match day number two of Lion Ball League. Monique is starting. Steve, could you respot the black for us? Because it's in the same spot as we had before. There we go. And it's probably going to be quite a central black ball here as Monique takes it away with the first shot of game two, match day two. As her opponent, Rohan, runs away to get his water bottle. The man must be hydrated for the whole time he play li plays Lion Ball. Otherwise, he loses his superpowers. And it's a nice shot from Monique. It's going to go into the score zone, her first point, as our score updater walks further and further away from the scoring board. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. There he is. He's back. And Rohan now his first shot. It has to play from the middle. Rohan. Rohan from the middle. Yeah. Rohan already trying to break the rules in only a <laughs> in his first game of line ball as well, as he wasn't in uh, the first match day of games. But here we go. This is his first time playing on a line ball tournament, and unfortunately, it is out of the score zone. So Monique can just build up a nice little defensive tally here. She doesn't need to take any risks because she is winning against Rohan currently. Will she take a risk, or will she just play nice and safe? Again, it's a lovely shot. She's building a really nice little cluster just to your left-hand side of the table there. Rohan, will he attack it as one of the very few left-handed players in this tournament? He's played a lovely, lovely shot, but it's not worked out, and it's still 2-0. I like the thought, I like the use of the angles, and I like the ingenuity, but it has not paid off. But I do like players who take risks, so I don't mind it one bit. Monique here, 
going to play it again. It's a lovely light shot and it's made it and she's covering pockets now. She's playing really well. A nice 3-0 lead. That means Rohan is going to have to take a risk here. He has to do something. Either getting multiple balls in in one shot or attacking multiple of Monique's balls in one shot. And Monique's cool, calm and collected. She's winning. She's ahead. And he's lost. That's game over. As he pots a ball. If you pot a ball, you lose. And Rohan is out on that game. It's an L for Rohan and Monique's first win of the tournament. In game number three of match day two, line ball league. Here we go, Tom. It's a nice shot. That might hit the black. And if it does, it's already over. And it's already over. <laughs> and Ardit doesn't even get to play. Ardit doesn't even get to play. So thank you all for watching game number three of Lion Ball League. Uh, Ardit getting the easiest win of his life. Um, and yeah, that's it. That gives uh, Steve almost no work to do at all. <laughs> thank you to Steve for doing the score counting for this set of match days. It is Kieran versus John and Kieran as one of the only other left-handed players in this tournament kicking off with the first shot. It's nice and safe. It's a one nail score to Kieran there. Let's see if John can learn from his initial poor shots in his last game. He did win his last game, but that was more so down to Chris's error rather than John's skill. So let's see if he can put on a masterclass and bring forward a good score here with John. It's nice. It's going to hit Kieran's, but they both stay in. So it's a nice start from John. It's already a better shot than he played in the last game. It's a nice step up. And we'll see if Kieran can attack it. I think Kieran's going to get aggressive here. And he does. And it's a nice shot. And it goes out. It hits the line of reds. And so the ball goes out. It is now just 1-0 to Kieran. Lovely, lovely shot. That is what we love to see. And John is not happy with that shot from Kieran. It is not worked out well. Oh, you have to hit the middle one. Middle one. As, as John swears for the camera, I'll bleep that one out. This is a family-friendly channel, and John doesn't know the rules. Um, fun fact, he is my dad, but also the only player who doesn't know any rules. And it's now 0-0. Zero, zero. It's a lovely attack shot. It takes everything out of play. Back to zero, where we all started at the beginning of this match. But Kieran brings two in with one shot. That is absolutely delicious line ball action. And now he's doing his lineups. John needs to bring two in in this shot. Otherwise, he's really going to be behind. Will he be able to? This is the moment. It's a lovely shot from John, but he's only got one in. He's kicked it too hard, and it goes to 2-1 instead of what it should have been, which should have been 2-2. But he can still bring it in. There's still time. It's not over for John here in this game. Plenty of time to do what needs to be done. Kieran may attack this or he may play safe. He's gone attacking again. It's a lovely shot from Kieran. He doesn't want John to score one point in this game. He wants to keep him buried at zero points for the whole match day. And that is a brutal but effective approach. Will John even score a point? Who knows? Here he goes, lining up another one, going straight again this time. It's more of his trademark. He's one of the few players who doesn't go cushion first very often. But it's worked a treat, and it's lovely. And he's brought it back to 3-2. This is, this is the game that's giving Steve the most work to do on the scorecard because it's so back and forth. The last game was very easy for him. It was a very quick one. And it's a brilliant shot from Kieran, and he's brought that red completely out of play. So that one there out and gone it is now four points to one we are really making steve work over here in the score counting position <laughs> thank you to everyone who's helped bring this tournament to life and make it possible and make it so all i have to do is commentate and occasionally referee when players forget the rules john now chasing the game has to bring that red that's in the middle into the score zone will he be able to in this shot this is what time will tell as he goes and he plays it directly into the black and pots it. It is the worst possible shot he could have played. John has lost his second game of the tournament. Kieran with the big old W. What a game. Brandon, you're going to play the first shot from the yellows. Has the black been spotted? Nice. Thank you. Steve's on it. So take it away when you're ready, Brandon. And he's playing against Hoy, who has an interesting history in line ball. He played second place in the very first tournament we did, but then fell all the way to last place at our second tournament. I know. Whereas Brandon has been on an opposite trajectory. Terrible performance in the last one. And then suddenly 
has done incredible ever since. He's done incredible ever since. And it's a lovely start from Brandon. Brandon's growth in line ball has been incredible to watch. He went from a zero to hero, and he is proving he is the hero. Hoy shot, not making it quite, but it's a safe start. Both players not enjoying the fact that I'm stood next to them commentating. Some players are getting quite agitated by it, and I enjoy that. That's why I'm here, to make things worse for the players, but hopefully to make it better for you, enjoying and watching along at home. I don't even know if I can be seen in it. I mean, can I be seen in it? Ardit, am I? You're near the camera. Am I in it here? But am I in it here? I am in it. Oh, brilliant. Oh, that's good. Hello. Welcome, viewers. So we're breaking the fourth wall. It is two points there. Four. The wonderful Brandon. Brandon, you're playing really well, Brandon. You've got this. Nice job, Brandon. And Hoy with also a nice job as he brings one in but doesn't get the other. Just one point. He's got a bit more work to do to get the next one in. But he is... He is getting closer. We like to see it from Hoy. Now, I, Hoy, Hoy has just said, um, not that you heard, he said that I've not ever said a nice thing about him. But I, I say nice things about Hoy every day, just not on record. 3-1 currently to Brandon. And maybe if Hoy plays a nice shot here, I'll say something nice. 3-1 to Brandon at the moment. Hoy takes a risk. And it's paid off as it goes to 2-2. Two, two. That is a lovely shot from Hoy. He's flipped the script. He's playing aggressive. We need more aggression in this tournament. And Hoy is bringing the business. Brandon now has to take a risk to get that yellow back in play. He's going to be near the black where whatever happens. But he's taken too much risk. And it's pulled far too short. The game is starting to snowball a little bit. Because Hoy's got a red that's really easy to bring into the score zone there. Will he be able to do it? And he does it with ease, and he scored four. So Hoy is on four. Brandon is on two. Brandon had such a promising start to this game, but Hoy has turned it around with one brilliant shot in the middle. Has now put the pressure onto his opponent. Brandon takes a risk, and he gets one in. He's only got one in, but I would argue that it's still a lovely shot, as Hoy's just said, because the other two are close to the board. And Hoy's got a double kiss, and the score stays the same. He's made a big mistake there. It gives Brandon a little lifeline. Brandon's still got to bring those yellows in as he pumps his chest. He's got to bring the yellows in or he's going to be in big trouble. So can Brandon do it? Let's see in this next shot. I'm going to go nice and quiet for him. And he's going to get at least one in and he's got just one point. So it's 4-4 now. I understand Brandon being very cautious here because he doesn't want to hit the black. The caution makes sense. But Hoy hits the black and Brandon wins it. And Brandon wins his game. Brandon with the W. And Hoy loses. Well done, Brandon. Well done, Brandon. All right, welcome everybody to the final game of match day two. Line Ball League, Izzy versus Sam. And Izzy is going to play first from the yellows. So Izzy, take it away with the first shot of this round. Here we go. How will she fare? Izzy is one of our newer players to line ball, but she's come into this tournament with her partner, Tom, to show the world what this couple can do on a line ball table. Sam, and that's 1-0, by the way, Steve, uh, who has forgotten to keep score again. Um, it's, yeah, I know. He's really good once he gets into it. And now the score has flipped. Lovely attacking shot. No, it, no, it's not. It's not. It has to reach the line of reds and yellows to be out. But it's almost out. It's, uh, it's out, of the playing, out of the scoring zone. It's in the playing zone. Doesn't score any points for Izzy. So she needs to make a move here. She needs to attack. And it's unfortunate she's got the dreaded double kiss. And that means the score stays just at a small 1-0 to Sam, who's now got a really nice little lead built already in only one shot. And it's now 2. 2-0 two to Sam here in the game. It's a lovely shot. izzy has got to really climb a mountain here to get back into this. It's been a, a poor start, unfortunately. But there's plenty of room for her to come back in. And that's going to go in the pocket and it's over. And Sam takes the point in this game. Izzy with the L. Sam with the W. And Sam stays on because he's going to be the first game of match day three. As we close out this match day, I think that the key takeaway is a lot of risk was leading to points being lost. Most games were ending because of an unaccounted for double kiss or ricochet hitting the black or potting a ball so all the players involved all the ones who lost today are really going to need to take that into account as they move forward through the line ball league 
Let me know what you think in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win? Who has caught your eye and played the best? Personally, a little bit more shocked with some of these games. Some of the players coming in and getting stronger. And some of the other players not getting any wins yet. Hoi Yin Lai, of course. One of my favourite players. Surprised he is so low at the moment with the two losses. But we'll see. Make sure you subscribe to the Lineball channel. We have new videos every single Tuesday at 6 p.m. And then a load of YouTube shorts coming out throughout the week with the key highlights of the games. So subscribe to never miss a video and keep up to date with the Lineball League. My name is Max Barrett. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.